first time he had seen it. The tears were streaming from his eyes. I sought them from the blazing light, until I saw the rock he held so tightly. Then he laid the rock down gently, and he left it as he walked away. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Good afternoon. I need to know more about Corypheus. We spoke of this on our travels to Skyhawk. What more can I tell you? Cassandra and Varric seem more familiar with their adversary. Oh, I'll take advice from just about anyone right now. I'm flattered. I claim no secret wisdom, but I will guess as best I can. I'd like to know more about the orb he carries. As I said, that must be the means by which he created the breach. I suspect the blast to destroy the Conclave was more accident than anything. The result of unlocking power that had sought release for ages. What I cannot understand is how he managed to survive such an explosion. You said that you believed the orb is elven. I never would have believed that a Vinter Mage could unlock such a powerful relic. It clearly enhances his abilities. Giving him access to power I should never have known. Like the power to control the Archdemon. Indirectly, one assumes. Nothing in any law connects my people to the old god dragons who became Archdemons. What do you think Corypheus will do next? He has lost his army, and he has lost Orle. That eliminates military or political means to rebuild Tevinta. He will need to demonstrate that no one in this world can stand against his magic. It will not be subtle. You're sure that's what he'll do? As certain as is possible. Assuming I can plausibly predict a man who seeks to rise to godhood. And can you? The key is understanding this. No real god need prove himself. Anyone who tries is mad or lying. His deception will undo him. As it has done countless fools before. What can you tell me about the source of Corypheus's power? According to the law, the ancient magistars of Vinter received guidance from the old gods. Corypheus commands a false archdemon. A corrupted old god. This suggests he no longer sees himself as their minion. Some of his unique power comes from the corruption of the Blight. The rest may come from the orb he carries. We'll talk later. Goodbye. I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. I trust you're feeling better? I... yes. Is it always that bad? The pain comes and goes. Sometimes I feel as if I'm back there. I should not have pushed myself so far that day. I'm just glad you're all right. I am. I've never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was well, not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. The past isn't always pleasant. Sometimes you have to let go and move on. I can't forget what happened, but it led me here. I can make that mean something. Anyway, I meant to thank you, not trouble you further. You've enough to worry about. How are you holding up? I've met good people here. Knowing they have my back, it helps. You certainly keep interesting company. I suppose I do as well.
proper mage tower. Every castle needs one. You have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio, trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. That's the Dorian I know, critiquing every book in my library. I wouldn't have to if you could find some rebellious heretic archivist to join the cause. Are there rebellious archivists? Other than you, that is. If Corypheus ever starts burning masterworks of literature, I'm sure a few will pop up. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? When everyone returned, they told us about your tumble into the abyssal rift. You went into the Fade. Physically went in. Are you... All right. I learned a surprising amount. What happened to the Temple of Sacred Ashes, for one? Regained your memories. That's good, then. I think so. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. You're right. I was fortunate. Indeed. Although there is cause for concern. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. You don't number among them? It's tempting, but I'm no fool. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This, this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus's real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. I'm told you gave the Grey Wardens another chance, Inquisitor. Would I have done the same, I wonder? Forgiveness can be difficult. I hope the Order values what you've done and gives you no reason to regret it. Another time, then. Far be it for me to suggest a training adjustment. My dear, I know you must have a great deal on your mind right now, but I need to speak with you. You know as well as I how far the Inquisition's influence has spread, and how desperate the Grand Clerics have become. 
Our opinion will be instrumental in their election of the new divine. I thought that might be coming after the Grand Ball. The Inquisition may not be invited to their vote, but our actions will certainly influence the Grand Clerics. To sit on the Sunburst throne, a candidate should have grace, charm, and a will of solid steel. Cassandra may lack the first two, but unless you can think of someone better, she is the strongest choice. What would your ideal divine do with her power? The most important thing, of course, is the restoration of the Circles and the Templar Order. The institutions that have protected Sadus for ages must be rebuilt and the malcontents utterly crushed. We cannot allow anarchists to threaten the lives of the innocent. After we have restored sanity to the world, there will be time to address voices of dissent. Where can we find candidates outside of the Chantry? There must be someone other than Leliana or Cassandra. The Chantry is already desperate. They would not look to unordained women if they had any choice. You may have better luck searching the halls of the Imperial Court. There are many women serving the Empire who have the necessary presence and acumen. Leliana might be a better choice than Cassandra, don't you think? Leliana is a well-meaning fool. She will do irreparable harm to countless people in the name of freedom. She proposes to abolish the Circles with nothing but a solemn promise from mages not to murder children. When an angry mage lashes out inside a tower, villages aren't destroyed. The Circle protects us all. Mages will die and take ordinary men with them in a war that cannot be won. Consider carefully, Inquisitor. Everything we do is a sign from the Maker to those who seek one. You walked physically through the Fade. Please tell me what you remember. I had visions, echoes of what happened to me the first time. The Divine was there, or something like her. Manifestations of your own mind, perhaps? Or external memories awakened by your presence? I suppose there's no way to tell. No one else has physically entered the Fade since the Magisters assaulted the Golden City. Oh, I'm positively envious right now. I wanted to ask you about the Circle of Magi. Of course. What do you wish to know? If the Circle disbanded, how can you still belong to it? The Circle is an idea, my dear. And an idea cannot be dissolved. Many of the first enchanters voted for rebellion, caring little that anything short of a unanimous decision would pit mage against mage. Rather than dissolving it, Grand Enchanter Fiona's vote split the circle in two. The rebels follow her, the loyalists follow me. If you lead all the loyalists, why are you only first enchanter and not Grand Enchanter? Grand Enchanters are elected, and since there are no first Enchanters besides myself, no vote can be held. I could name myself Grand Enchanter, but the title holds no meaning now. When the Circles are restored, that will change. I've never been to the Montsimard Circle. What was it like? A place of great history and tradition, with the greatest library of magical history outside of the Imperium. It was deeply involved in the great game, as you might expect of anyone living in Orlais. The mages there were quite competitive, but it was stimulating to be always pushed to exceed the abilities of my peers. How did we come to this state with the circles in revolt? You, my dear, are far too wise not to have realized that many of our colleagues live with their eyes closed. Safe from the world inside their towers, they thought only of the Templars and their own resentment. Kirkwall gave the world a reason to remember its fear of magic. A mage killed hundreds with a snap of their fingers. Across Thedas, a new tangible fear of magic grew. Commoners and nobles alike called out to the Chantry for protection. But the malcontents in the towers thought nothing of this. They cared only for themselves and for their anger at the new Templar restrictions. When a mage attempted to assassinate Divine Justinia again, the mages protested the investigation. The leadership chose to vote on independence based on the intolerable conditions imposed by the Templars. 